Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students and viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel TG Learning Point. In today's video, we are going to solve the GDP, which is related to the subject taxation management, which has subject code PIN 623. I think if I am wrong, please correct it in comment sections. The total marks of this GDP is 5, and this is the first GDP, and its closing date is Monday 30th, January 2023. So let's uh, read the question description determine taxable income of Mr. Anonymous in the light of the following particulars pertaining to tax years 2023. The normal tax year started from in Pakistan uh, 1st July 2022 to 30th June 2023. This is our uh, period of year and it is uh, finished and is, it is taken as tax year 2023. So, Let's move to the particulars monthly basic salary means monthly basic salary but we are going to calculate taxable income for the year not for the month so you have to calculate salary for whole years mean 12 months 270,000 conveyance provided for personal and office use value of the car purchased by the employer at 5% and its value is uh, 50 lakhs or 5 million loan taken from employer at 9% interest and its uh, value is 1.5 million or 15 lakhs so uh, you need to be find out the uh, taxable income taxable income let's move to the solution so the solution is here here is the format tax payers put to meet anonymous tax here is uh, you, it has been split here but it should be here uh, it is here because of uh, increase in size of the this work uh, this word sheet or uh, word book whatever you label it so resignation status is i suppose that it is resident and entity number also is uh, here when you uh, use it a4 with 100 percent uh, size so it will be automatically adjusted but i am going to uh, use the size of 188 percent of the actual one so that's why it looks uh, bigger than the normal one it is for it is uh, due to uh, for making a video for uh, for your convenience so uh, monthly salary is uh, 12 into 270,000 and it is equal to let me check a little bit not like this it takes a little bit time so it is uh, 32 uh, lakh 40,000 or 3.240 million so no exempt is available on uh, salary, basic salary, whatever is you label it. So the total value is the same as we calculated under the column of uh, total income. Now come to the second particular, which is conveyance provided by personal and office use. When you are going to uh, apply the tax rate in this situation, when the cost provided by the employer used by uh, personal and as well as for office, so the rate we are going to apply is 5% by uh, applying 5% and uh, we will get the that portion of the uh, amount of the value of the card that we will include in the tax taxable income this is 250,000 uh, later on the next uh, particulars loan taken from employer at 9% tax is working is given note to so its value is uh, 45,000. So our total taxable income is 3.535 million or 35 lakh 35,000. Now come to find the tax liability. This is taxable income and we are now uh, determining or finding the tax tax liability that you are actually going to pay to the tax department or FDR. So taxable income fall in slab of uh, 2.4 million. 1 to 3.6 million i think this is something wrong is here at 1 zero more and uh, it is applied 20 percent what it is applied is 20 percent on the amount exceeding 20.4 million so plus 15,000 so 15,000 plus the exceeding amount is 1135,000 as per if you uh, subtract this amount from this taxable income amount so we we'll get 11,035,000 uh, 11 lakh 35,000. So uh, after multiplying 20% uh, with uh, 11 lakh 35,000, you will get 227,000. Please add. Please, 
please add uh, these two amounts 15,000 and 227,000 uh, 227, you will get 242,000 taxable income uh, tax liability not uh, sorry tax liability so this is the amount that you are going to deposit uh, as a tax liability for your uh, for you in year 2023 so let's move to the note 1 and note 2 look at this note 1 is related to income tax rules 20, uh, 2002 regarding salary rule 5 variation of conveyance so we are going to apply 5% rate to get the portion of the amount from the value of the car to include in taxable income which is uh, i think we have uh, calculated 250,000 i didn't uh, calculate here please you must have 5 million of 50 lakh into uh, 0.05 it will be equal to 20 into 250,000 now come to the uh, note 2 section 13 subsection 7b which is related to the uh, loan taken from the employer so benchmark rate is 12% uh, I have come this I have come to know about this percentage from uh, Google if you search on Google you will get this and it is fixed in uh, 2012 as per the information obtained by me from Google uh, search engine, interest rate on loan given by employer applied is nine percent. So see, there's a it is greater than twelve uh, percent is greater than nine percent. So uh, now we are going to point out that portion of the uh, loan amount that we are going to uh, include in taxable income. So how this is obtained by taking the difference of twelve percent because benchmark rate is greater than 9% mark so 12.12 uh, .12 minus 0 0.09 is equal to 0 0.03 multiply this uh, 0 0.03 with the uh, amount of the loan which is 1.5 million into uh, into 0 0.03 we will get rupees 45,000 so uh, once again I am going to show in the table so this is uh, 250,000 and this is uh, 45,000 sum up all these three uh, component under the uh, column taxable income we will get 35 lakh 35000 amount i hope you will understand this solution if you have any question or query ask in comment section and uh, please let me know if you found any uh, mistake regarding uh, regarding calculation or typo error please must mention in the comment section uh, for the benefits of all the students and viewers thanks for watching assalamu alaikum